Welcome folks to Democracy 3. This is a government political simulation. It could be really fast or really long depending on how you set it up or how badly you play it. I am going to set it up so it's a short game. How am I going to do that? Well, this game is known for certain things. Before I start, let me point out that like in most games of this type you might not agree with the creators you know what they believe is the most important factor in how society changes things or solves things you know I'm not gonna agree with half the stuff they do but I'm gonna try to play it as best I can without getting too frustrated or trying to say oh they got this wrong or they got this right whatever what I am going to do, though, is point out, if you ever play this game for yourself and you don't want to be incredibly frustrated, turn assassinations off. This game has an issue with this. This game is set up so there's political movements and population within the game. You know, the poor, the conservatives, the religious, the uh, socialists, you know, self-employed. And they're very, very finicky. Much more finicky than they are in real life. I once played Canada on this game. And did very much in a socialist bent. And I was assassinated within my first term. So if you want to play this game you want to have a lot of fun, turn assassinations off. But let's start the game. As you can see, I, I got the music down all that. Uh, I also gave myself a political honeymoon which means I start out with a higher level of political capital when first elected. So, political capital allows you to make political changes. Laws, policies, stuff like that. When we, we get to the game, so I'm going to start a new game. Now, in here you have multiple choices. You could start out as the United Kingdom, or France, Germany, United States, Canada, or Australia. We'll start in the United States because I'm an American. <clears throat> there is another game, Democracy 3 Africa, where you could play African nations. And if I, after this game, I might play one of those. I haven't actually played any of those yet. So I played this game a lot. I've gotten a lot of the achievements, so you won't see any of those pop up probably. But when I play Africa, you might see achievements pop up, good or bad. You know, I might be the shortest leader in the, the game. Oh, you, you, you lasted five days, you know, whatever. So this is the United States. It gives you a little bit of rundown of how the United States works. Uh, there is a little m bit of a randomization when you start a game. So you're not going to always have the same problems. And there's going to be a few things that you might find weird. For example, the last game I played as in the United States... When I was looking over things, I realized that in the labor business relationship, you know, the, the, the interaction between labor and management, technically there's no unions. Business had full control over all conditions, which was kind of weird. So let's play the United States. <clears throat> I'm not going to be social democrats. I'm a libertarian at heart. Uh, People's Friend of Georgia, is that there? No? Okay. Let's just do the Independent Party. I'm no longer formally a member of the Libertarian Party. I was Libertarian Party for about a year. Then I realized they reminded me a little too much. <clears throat> I, this is going to sound a little weird. I thought the American Libertarian Party was a little too conservative for me. That sounds weird. But if you're a Libertarian, you're kind of, you're going to have to, well, if you're a Republican Democrat, let me explain something. Libertarian Party has a few core ideas they share. Outside of that, it's very much an umbrella organization. Libertarians are going to argue about everything from uh, even even like uh, everything from taxes, how big the government should be, if there should be a government, whether we should pay taxes, whether to privatize everything, whether uh, weapons are actually stuff that a person should have. Because a lot of libertarians are like, well, there's no need for violence if we could handle stuff in peaceful ways or even passive resistance. There's plenty of libertarian 
uh, philosophers out there who don't even know if we should be using capital. I mean, there's a lot of overlap. You can, you can mistake a libertarian for an anarchist, a so, uh, which is not a bomb-throwing anarchist. I mean in the political sense of a non-state socialist. And I'm babbling again. So let's go on. Uh, no. Let's see. I don't know. Joe's party? No. Conservatives. Let's do that. Now, as you can see, you could change things around. This United States, four years length of term, two terms. We do get hurricanes. We do get earthquakes. We don't have a monarchy, and you don't have to force people to vote. I'm not going to play with these settings, though. Once again, you might not agree with the settings. This is, you know, how 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 likely people are going to vote, the difficulty, innate socialism, you know, stuff like that. Okay, now it's going to set it up. <clears throat> it's going to be, once again, a little bit of a ramatization. Ramatization. It's going to factor in throw a few curveballs in there so this United States might not be the United States we see and it might have issues that are it's dealing with that we might not be dealing with there might be a higher unemployment or there might be uh, uh, problems with our credit okay so it's ready to start okay congratulations on your Election victory. Welcome to your new job as president. The lives of all 316,668,000 citizens are now in your hands. As you will imagine, there are a number of situations and concerns that you'll need to deal with as soon as possible while keeping an eye on the long-term improvement of our citizens' equality, quality of life. Plus, do not forget that you face re-election four years, so you need to monitor the opinion polls in our party membership. Good luck. So, <clears throat> looks like education is good. Poverty and unemployment is not too good. Crime and health are suck. Our GDP are probably bad. So, let's begin the terms of office. All right. My mouse is doing a double-clicky thing on me lately, so. Now. Top left corner, that fist, 25. That's my political clout. Income, as you can see, is less than what we're spending, which means we have a deficit and a debt. Deficit is what we uh, have a problem with each month. The debt is the combined total. The clock is how much time till the next <coughs> election. And the other items up here have to do with security. These are the intelligence brief. This is the political groups and the terrorist groups I have to deal with. This is opinions, and I can focus it on groups, policies, which ones are making people happy, changes, nothing's changed, I haven't done anything, and the compass. This will show you where, <coughs> where we're starting at and where we're going. This is obviously more of a budget, how much we're spending, where most of our income's coming, charts. This is laws, policy ideas, foreign policy, welfare, economic, tax. It's going to be the first one I visit. I want to get a carbon tax going. Businesses will hate me. <coughs> Environments. The environmentalists will love me. But businesses, conservatives, capitalists, probably not. Public services usually make parents happy, law and order. Patriots happy, conservatives happy. Capitalists, if they mean that they could bring in private, you know, private industry. And transportation depends on who it is. Environmentalists might like it. Parents might like it. Stuff like that. These are the... In the middle is the voters broken up into different groups. Um, there is overlap. Capitalists sometimes uh, overlap with conservatives. Conservatives overlap with, <coughs> excuse me, overlap with religious. Youth can sometimes overlap with uh, socialism. Ethnic minorities will overlap with the poor. Middle income sometimes will overlap with self-employed, so on and so forth. And then there's farmers, retired people. The poor, like I said, I think I've already said that. But um, and then 
<coughs> Excuse me. A few more things up here. <coughs> achievements, which I've done before. Which is why you're probably not going to see a lot of achievements popping up. My ministers. The ministers um, help me with my political capital. Uh, they, they basically... The better ministers I have, the more loyal, the more experienced, the more capital they're going to give me. But they're sympathetic towards certain groups of people. <clears throat> and those people start getting upset with me. These people will get upset with me. If the socialists and trade unionists don't, are not happy with me, this foreign affairs minister person is going to be unhappy. His loyalty is going to go down. His effectiveness is going to not help very much. And he might quit, and I might have to replace him. And that costs political cloud also. And this, that's just opinion, not opinions, options. And this up here is parties. There's festos, speeches, fundraising, perspective, pers you know, how people perceive me. <clears throat> None of this really is going to happen. Yeah, I shouldn't really do any of this until we get close to the elections. Whoop. See, it's double clicking on me. One last thing. I look around, you see red, you see uh, blue, and what you also see is one green only. The red are situations we have to address. For example, this little fat kid's right down here. Let me highlight them. Those are basically our kids are unhealthy. That's a bad thing. The red lines are are things that are taking away from that. In other words, our state health service is trying to bring that down. So the red is actually subtracting from that issue. The green are adding to it. So we have an unemployment. We had food prices are cheap. And also the G GDP. Those are all contributing to people being fat. Our food standards agency is trying to take away from that. Now, the fact that our kids are fat is actually damaging the health, overall health of the people. A lot of things are damaging. Alcohol abuse, uh, doctors strike. So in this case, the red is bad because the red is taking away what, what should be a good situation. While if you look at the red circles the red is good because the red is damaging a bad situation the health service is trying to fight the unhealthiness in the children and a green which is rare but sometimes happens is a good situation we are technologically advantage technological advantage we are the most advanced people around right now and right now all these things going to it are helping that that's green is always contributing so let us start looking at stuff I want to change. Now, once again, I really want to bring that carbon tax in, but I don't have enough, I don't think, political clout. So I need to wait another turn. So I'm going to push next turn. Sorry if my voice sounds a little strange. It's, for some reason, kind of dry and scratchy. I don't know. All right, now... This is the quarterly report. It tells you economic forecast, good news, global economy is going well. So if we could do something, that will help us. Our budget is BBB. We need to fix this. And there is a choice, a question mark here. Ban alcoholic adverts. There is a proposal for a law to outlaw the advertising of alcohol on television. Although it would remain legal to advertise on radio, bull. Uh, billboards and other means a TV ban is seen as a potential way to reduce alcohol intakes of our by our citizens. Anybody who's ever played nation states online you understand what this is about here but reject the ban which means you continue to allow alcohol to be advertised on television or approve the ban. Now smoking is not advertised on television and a lot of uh, television companies channels uh cable TV, all that, trying not to show shows that show a lot of smoking 
and a lot of drinking if they could help it. Now sometimes HBO and all that, when you want to have real TV, when you want to have realistic historical dramas, you got to have that. You can't really avoid that. But um, I don't know. I don't think... On one hand, a libertarian, in theory, that would interfere with a capitalist system. It's a free market system you should advertise. On the other hand, I'm not stupid. People get influenced by all sorts of stuff. And, and you know, kids get into things and all that. So, But I'm going to reject the ban, you know, because I do believe, hey, if alcohol is really bad, okay, you don't just ban advertisement. You make it difficult. You, you set up laws. You demand that they clean up things. Maybe make it do a, a you know, prohibition, which didn't, which actually did lower how many people are drinking. The number of people who actually stopped drinking did actually happen. People stopped drinking. But those who wanted to continue to drink wanted to continue to drink, even if it meant going through illegal, you know, suppliers. So on one hand, it actually did what it was supposed to do. Less people drank. But those hardcore people who wanted to drink, they caused a lot of problems. So it is addictive. So I'm going to reject the ban. And once again, my mouse is right-clicking when it shouldn't be. There you go. Stop that. But homelessness, yes, that's a problem. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to taxes. And there it is. My nobody likes this. Except for environmentalists. Estimated popular with the voters. Zero. It doesn't exist yet. And nobody even cares about it. It's not even in their brain right now. I'm going to do it. And that's going to really hurt our GDP. Everybody is going to not like it. Because it's going to increase the cost of air travel. The capitalists are going to be pissed off. It's going to raise prices. But it will also lead to more energy efficient economy. At least that's what they're saying. Yeah. That depends on who's willing to do what. Now, these changes will take time. On the other hand, they will get us a lot of money, which will help when it comes to how much you're spending and the deficit and the debt. Now, I only have 12 clout left. There's not a lot you could do with 12 clout. Let's see, though. This is labor. Labor laws basically make it so it's pro-employee. Pro and pro-employer, excuse me. Pro-employee is a completely different thing. Right now, the businesses decide basic restrictions on workers' right. So right now, they don't have the right to strike. That's really bad. Also, their work week is pretty high, which is great from a capitalist productivity, you know, GTP point of view, but from a play a, a labor's point of view, they're being basically they're 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 being worked to death. So everybody else, socialism trade trade unionists, they're unhappy. Wages suck because the employers have all the control right now. So I really need to wait till I have about 27 to change this. Now. Once again, I'm a libertarian, pretty much uh, conservative, right-wing, pro-business, but, uh, you know, I got also common sense. I'm not sexist, I'm not racist, and I don't vote for stupid people. And also, I think as one person once said, you take care of your employees, they take care of your customers. This is not taking care of your employees. This is driving them to the ground, and your employees are also customers. So you need to take that in. So I need 27. So I'm going to skip another turn. Just All right, not skipping a turn, but All right. No, I I said reject the ban. You're not listening to me. Uh -huh. Uh, running around. Okay, so I have 36, so I can now 
switch labor to be a little more even. A little more even, Steven. Balanced. Yeah, I like that right there. So, yep. <clears throat> now, other things. Hmm. See? Doctor Strike. Just because I now made it so the doctors can actually go on strike, we now have a Doctor Strike going on. That's a problem. But I also need to deal with the kids getting fat. So, <clears throat> I'm going to probably see. Our health service is kind of now even Steven. Yeah, it only. Our health. State health services. Uh, you know, many citizens, it says right there, are happy to pay privately for their own health uh, treatment, but sometimes the health, you know, the state needs to come in. But it's only helping right now in life threatening operations. I wanted to do more than that, I want prevention. Right up to the... Because this is costing money. This is going to be costing money. Ah, there. Do I have enough? Do I have... I don't have enough, do I? No. I need 18. So I'm going to wait till I have 18. We're already getting more income than we are spending. We got a surplus. I should get into the debt sooner or later as long as I don't spend too much money. <clears throat> I want 18 points. And then I probably want to skip a couple turns. Just to let the money situation get in there. Okay, so credit upgrade. Rubbish. Oh, no. Now, as you see, our GDP is going down because I picked a lot of things that are not good for business. Or at least from the point of view of the capitalists. 32. All right. So, where is that? The state health service, which make that preventative. Also, another thing I could do. Now, junk food tax. The problem of junk food tax is that junk food is pretty cheap. So, it's going to be pretty unpopular with the poor. They're going to look at this saying, you're trying to starve us. But, I'm going to go for it anyway. And I'm going to go all the way in. Now, like I said, that's going to increase poverty. But it'll increase health. But the youth won't be happy with us, and it'll affect the poor earnings. They won't. Those people who really want to still buy junk food can do it, but it's going to cost them a little more extra money. And that means the poor are not going to be able to uh, get as much from their earnings as they used to. So that's not going to make them happy. And the poor, look, everybody's not happy with me. Trade unionists are happy with me. Liberals are going up. Eh, environmentalists are going up. Everybody else, not too much. My popularity is not too great. What I want to do now is try to start putting in things to help the people in general. Uh, but I need to give it a few more turns to let things settle down. Settle, settle down. All right. Debt protection. Okay. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of the aggressive methods they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. Laws proposed to limit the ways in which such aggressive uh, uh, such agencies can operate. Basically, the idea is uh, banks and, and, and many other more, and I'm going to use question marks here, uh, quotes, not question marks, but quotes, legitimate organizations will not loan out money to you unless they consider you to be a low risk. In other words, you have a house, you have a job, you're able to pay for it. Then there's the people who will give you a, a loan because you have a credit card. Or, you know, a, and it's, it means that in the end, 
they're giving you money when they really probably shouldn't have. Now, maybe it's helpful, you know, you had a medical issue, stuff like that. But in the end, there's really common sense that you wouldn't have been able to pay it back. And once again, like I said, especially in an industry of a private health industry, you're trapped between a wall and a hard place, a rock and a hard place, to, you know, the deep blue sea and the shark. And you know, either you, you die or you get a loan out, pay for your medical expenses, and then you go to jail because you can't afford it anymore. So I'm going to limit agency activity. I'm not saying that you shouldn't think about signing that piece of paper. I mean, if you do a student loan and you can't pay for it afterwards, ugh, I can't really agree that you should be let off unless you absolutely cannot do anything about it. I mean, I talked to my biology teacher in senior high school before I graduated. He was still paying for his college degree as a teacher. And part of that is teachers get paid sucky salaries. But there's more of them. You know, there's a lot of factors involved. So I'm not going to say any one thing's right. But eh, I, I think you should pay back your loans if you can. It's that certain people probably shouldn't be given loans in the first place. There should be other ways to keep people from dying because of our health care system. Or fighting education, you know, like sending them to college free. <laughs> but, once again, Libertarian, you might not agree with everything I say. You might not agree with this game, and they're only giving me two choices. So, I'm going to limit their ability to operate. And once again, my mouse is deciding that two clicks are great. Now, let's look at this. Um, environmentalists are still happy with me. Everybody's kind of down. Parents don't like me. Trade unions, the liberals don't like me. Okay. I have 30 political clout. Ooh. What do I want to do? Creationism versus evolution. Okay. Here's the problem with this. I do think both systems should be taught in school. But evolution should be taught in science classes. Creationism should be taught either in a history course or courses that deal with theology. In other words, if it's a religious course, they could talk about creation. It's a history course talking about how people perceive th that Earth was brought about in existence. Example, early primitive man believed in Zeus or the Great Spirit, this and that and the other. Fine. Creationism goes right up there with the mythology, as far as I'm concerned. You're allowed to teach it, but it has to be separate from real science. So, this is talking about science. And that's not acceptable to me, so... Evolution only. There you go. Don't even cost me any money. But the religious leaderships, memberships... First of all, okay. Religious people aren't going to be happy with me. And many of the religious people are going to start leaving the country. Because they're going to go, you're not going to respect us, we're leaving. It will help us technologically. And it will increase liberal, probably, thought and the membership of liberals. Because they're going to be moving to the country. So, confirm changes. Alright. One other thing, and this one's not going to be the one they're going to be very happy with. Military. Liberals aren't happy with it. Patriots and state employees love it because we have a huge military overwhelming force. 223.82 billion quarterly. That's about mm, roughly about, um, you know, 880 billion a year. I'm going to lower that a little. That's not going to make people happy. Highly trained? I'll say highly trained. Will trained. No, I, I like highly trained. I don't want people shooting themselves in the foot. They do that already. Insufficient capital. Ah, I need 19 to lower it. Wow. So I need more points to lower it than I need to take it away. Okay. Let's let things boil a little bit. Stew. Whoop, whoops, double clicked, went by the, uh, yeah, see, it's double clicking. I have an old mouse. Let me get back to the, okay. Credit rating upgraded. Okay, unemployment's going up. 
GDP is going down. She that's not going to help me because if unemployment goes goes up and I do the uh, whole military budget thing, they're not going to be happy with me. Mm -hmm. The poor is a little happy with me now. I'm not sure actually why that's happening. Let's see. You can actually touch the poor. Okay. The state health service means that they don't have to get they don't have to pay private health, so they're getting health. Legal aid helps them. State schools help them. <laughs> state pensions is making them happy. Poverty? Uh, unemployment's not doing it for them. Food stamps are helping unemployment investments. Let's see what's poverty here. What's Okay. Well, the poor are happier with me, obviously. Stay employees, environmentalists, religious are not happy, liberals going up. Okay, I got 19. Should I do the, uh... Evolution only. What was it that I wanted? Oh, yes. Military. Ooh. That's going to affect him... Okay, let's do a highly trained. Take down that budget. I want it just to where highly trained. Okay, so I'm taking that. I'm taking down the budget. Uh, about sixty point billion a quarter. All right. That's not going to help employees very much, but I need. Okay, welfare. There is, yes. They won't like that. And somebody spelled live wrong. Basically, this is saying, hey, if you want to get unemployment, you have to, you have to work. Litter, other tasks that do not risk any jobs. Public beautification. Uh, most people volunteer for that kind of stuff nowadays, so I don't know. And <laughs> somebody did spell live off the state without working wrong. But popular voters, not very popular. And it will cost us money per quarter. Almost as much money as I just did taking away from the military. But it will help all the poor. Let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure the Patriots are going to be happy with me. Let's continue. Let's try to push this once instead of like double tap. Okay, aerospace contract one. That's because of our technology. Health is going up. Employment's going down. Crime is going up, though. We have now. St uh, we have now street gangs. You little, little. Okay, but they're going down again already. All right. Crime's going up, though. I need to find out what to do about crime before. It's really high. So, let's see. Street gangs, what's causing that? Homelessness, poverty, unemployment. What's taking it down? Police force? Armed police? Mm, it's affecting tourism. And it's increasing crime. And it the conservatives and everybody and the retired aren't happy with it. So there's two things I could do. I could increase the police force. Or I could increase the armed police. I'm not sure I want armed police. Um, I have no problem with armed police. But the game people, the people who made this game, you, know, you never know. Because I'm playing by their rules. And I'm not too sure about it. This would also increase employees, though. But I don't want to increase the budget too much. Ah, that's not too much. So, stay employees would be happy with me. Membership would go up. Income would go down? Or income would go up? Uh, reverse changes. No, their income would go up. Okay. Crime would go down. Violence. 
Crime would go down. Conservatives would be happy. State employees would be happy. Unemployment would go down. Street gangs would go down. All right. Yes. I have 16. Uh, welfare. Mm, to get compulsory work for an employment, I need 25. Right. Rent controls, uh, child provisions, um, public service. Ooh, free school meals is always good. Everybody likes that. Relatively cheap. Uh, let's go with that. All right. Okay. I haven't been assassinated yet. I expect that'll happen sooner or later. Let's see if I could just click this once. Left button. Just once. There you go. There it is. Ethnic plot. Our latest security reports indicate a growing threat from the extremist organization known as the Black Power Group. It looks like a number of people are angry about the way government policy affecting ethnic minorities and see limiting the current group uh, government by force as the only way to change things. It's supposed by voting me out of office. You might want to be careful about future angry ethnic minorities if you don't want to suffer an attack on your person. Thanks for the advice. Public smoking ban. Uh, yes, please. I don't like people who smoke my face. Not popular among citizens. Voting intentions. Okay, let's see what the ethnic minorities are upset about. Okay. They're happy about foreign aid because we're giving uh, aid to probably family members in other countries. They don't like the border controls. Racial tension is some doing issues there. And citizenship tests. Okay, well, let's check out what the border controls are like. Border controls are ha make the patriots happy, but the liberals and ethnic minorities are unhappy. Okay, why is that? Because you have to have biometric checks? I don't even... In order to get into the country, they have to check your biometric... Um, I don't even think that's technically something that can be done right now. Isn't that checking your DNA? <clears throat> okay, that's just silly. Um, passport checks. Let's just do as low as you could go. Pa random passport? No, you could do... I don't like random because then they start suggesting, well, you picked on me because I've been randomly checked at airports and I'm always like, it's the beard, isn't it? It's the beard. It's it's because of the stupid beard. Okay, and citizenship tests. Um... A way of ensuring that people migrate to our country have a... Okay. <clears throat> well, this is not telling me much, is it? What? What's it? Well, I'll lower it. Because it'll make it a little cheaper. Patriots won't like it. But uh, let's see how well I could do now. Surplus. Per quarter is over 300 billion and we now have a reserve of 100 billion and we're still taking in more than we're spending now that might change over time because I have played with things and it does take usually a few quarters for it to get you know to line up properly to get in sync but uh, now the conservatives want to kill me are you aware of the growth in power of a group known as the Moral Crusade? Apparently, they're made up of most uh, traditional values, lines, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is basically the conservatives overlap with the religious and the capitalists, and they're none, those two groups aren't too happy with me either. Point UN Ambassador. Okay. So, Point UN Ambassador, our Ambassador to UN retires this year. We need to name a successor as soon as possible. So, you get to appoint two people. One's a patriot who'll fight tooth and nail to get our interests represented in the UN. Uh, and the other one is a popular figure in the international stage. Well, I always considered myself somewhat internationalist because I believe we all live on the same planet. And if negotiations, if you negotiate with somebody, if both parties leave the table happy, then that's good. If you're trying to, you know, say, oh, we're going to get the better deal and this and that and the other, then why should the other person even come to the table? So I want an internationalist person, somebody who's willing to comp compromise and understanding. There we go. 
So crime's going down, health's going up, unemployment's going up, god damn it. Uh, poverty is still the same. And can you just click it once? There you go. So, ethnic minorities are starting to get popular with me again. <coughs> Conservatives are kind of happy with me for some reason. What did I do wrong? Patriots are not happy with me. Environmentalists are... Everybody else is kind of... The liberals are kind of trapped. I don't know what... Income went down a little bit. Expenditures are still the same. Surplus is still the same. Reserves have shot up to 500, 500 billion. <coughs> which means we could spend a little bit a little bit of money. But I like to kind of keep things in reserve. So... I th we still have fat kids. God darn it. Alright. Let's see about those... Let's see. What else is affecting them? The free school lunch is making them fatter? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, no. The free school lunches are taking away from that. Ah, because we can control what they, they are eating. Okay. For a second there. See, even I mistook the red line to mean bad things. But no, in this case, the red line's good. So the state health is helping. The food standards are helping. Private health care is helping. But junk food tax is helping also. But the food prices are still... How is food prices affecting that? I don't know. Okay, let's check out food prices. Uh, international trade, oil price, food stamp, agent, bio standard. Average temperature. Oh, yes, yeah, see. This is what... Uh, this is going to affect... Sooner or later, we might get into a greenhouse, environmental climate change. And that's going to hurt us. Right now, the CO emissions is really down. But car usage is still high. Um, it's actually going down. Um... <clears throat> could probably take that a little bit down stand so subsidized state it's already kind of uh, high um, okay oil demand Oil prices, oil supply. So we have a high amount of oil supply? All right, well, it's starting to go down. The prices of oil is going down a little bit, but that's all right. <coughs> hmm, what to do? Still trying to get these kids to buy. look. They're they're even having problems breathing. <coughs> the environment, car it's car usage. Gosh darn it. Bus usage. Mm, it's adding to the asthma economic and damaging our environment. Ugh. The hybrid car initiative is actually helping more car usage? Of course it is. Okay, what I want to do is then increase... Oh... Bus usage? Well, how about rail usage? Oh, I went too fast. Alright. Let's see about those rails. Um... Doo -doo -doo. Rail subsidies. Um... Hmm. <coughs> okay, so motorist will decrease. Okay, wait a minute. Poor earnings will go farther? Unemployment will increase. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Oh no, oh, employment in motorism will go down. Everything else will go up. Just a little bit higher. I don't want to make this too expensive. Just that. Yeah, there. Right when it hits high. So some of this is you're pushing that that slider all the way to the right. Other times you're like, just a little bit. I don't want to spend too much money. And that's the point right now because I got a lot of things going on. A lot of hot irons going on at the same time. A lot of irons in the fire and I don't want to. And I've been shot. I had five over five hundred million in in, in surplus. Uh, the environment was going great. We're, we're actually lowering the amount of carbon. And I've been shot. That's why, if you want to play this game realistically, you don't have assassination time. <laughs> okay, folks. Thank you for uh, watching and. Um, have a nice day.